Hello YouTube, it is your girl Kimberly. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. In this video, it is going to be a buyer beware video for the She Fit Bra. So if you've been watching social media ads, anything that you stop and look at, you will see ads for this She Fit Bra. I fell for it. I bought it. It was trash. If you want to know more, keep watching. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. That way you will catch all the amazing videos I upload to this channel. And then hit the notification bell. That way you will be amongst the first to know. So, um, she fit bra. So basically this is supposed to be like a magic, amazing workout bra. I have the color black in the size 2 Luxe. So the reason why I got the size 2 Lux is because I measured myself. That's the back of the bra. I measured myself and I did the co correct calculations and it said that I was supposed to be a 2 Lux. In regular bra sizes, I am either a 34H or a 34FF depending on the brand or the company. That's how the sizing works for me. So... The bra looked really cute and the only thing that kind of gave me pause was that the busty girl in the commercial was clearly like a size C, D at the most. And I was like, oh. this is a $60 bra, this can go bad real quick, but I needed a bra, you know, with the state of the world being locked in the house I have been trying to work out more by walking and like running and jogging and you cannot do that without the proper sports bra especially when you have a chest that is size 34H like that's just there's no other way to put it so I purchased the bra clearly stating to everybody I know do not buy this bra let me tell you if it's good or not it is trash multiple reasons first of all the styling of it looks cute i'm gonna give them credit where credit's due the styling of it looks cute the marketing's amazing and the color options girls are gonna eat that up um what sucks first thing that sucks this on the bottom part of the bra i'm gonna be backing up a little bit so that way you guys can see there we go so on the bottom part of the bra there is a strap that goes around the mid part of your body and you're supposed to pull it to make it tighter. If you don't automatically perfectly line that strap up to put it back on the bra, like even you see it now, how it's off on the edge like that, it's so hard to pull it yourself back around to like the front that you end up with a little overhang and as you're running, jogging, it rubs your skin raw and you start to get like scabs and stuff on the side of the bra. So that sucks. The other part where you're supposed to, same thing with the strap. You see how it's like that? So you have to like meticulously make sure that it's in the middle or else any of these little side things, they're really rough and they do a job on your skin. Um, that is one of the things that I actually like about the bra is that when you pull this up, it does pull like your chest higher and more like succinct to your body. So um, that is a good thing about the bra. Um, another negative thing about the bra is this is supposed to be size 2 lux because they don't want to say extra large. But it's this, this is a 2XL for bras basically. If you, I'm going to zip the bra down the middle. This is another thing. They do have like a little cloth overhang that's supposed to cover up the zipper for when you work out. But in the course of sweating and moving around, it always goes back and then you get scabs on your chest. So that's really annoying. Um, this bra did a job on my skin. I'll tell you when I took it off and then got in the shower after removing it, like I, my body was burning. Like between the sweat and the water washing into the various cuts and scabs created by this bra. It was a disaster. Um, so they have the protection over the zipper parts, but what they don't have protection for is for these clasps on the inside. So they have these little eyelet hooks inside of the bra, and the eyelet hooks rub against your skin while you're working out. So um, more scabs and marks on your body. I.e., why you guys? I mean, it's not that bad. They're healing up, but I just wore this because I was like. You're not, you're not got to see 
scarred up, messed up all over, which um is a hot mess. So this is a 2XL. This is the cup. Like my fist can't even fit in there, let alone a boob. Like it's so shallow and small. There's no way that your measurements are basically my measurement is like 38 almost 40 around there's no way that your chest is that large and it's going to fit in this little shallow pocket like that is so shallow and and matter of fact i'm going to grab one of my regular bras to kind of show you guys the difference so i'm back with one of my uh regular bras that i wear and i got a strapless bra because i feel like that would be really easy for you to see the cup so this is the 34H strapless bra from Curvy Kate. Love, love, love Curvy Kate bras. Check them out if you need bras. And if you do the side profile for one cup, that's what it's supposed to look like. So this is the amount of space that is needed, right? And then this is supposed to be the cup for a 2XL. So you see how shallow that is? So you're not going to fit in the bra. So what happens is you end up pulling the shoulder strap so that way you're secure and everything. And your chest goes up out of this little baby pocket. It doesn't fit in here anymore. And it starts coming out the top and on the sides. You can jump up and down and your back doesn't hurt. But you look gross, basically. Um, in addition to looking gross, uh, because now you got like overflow, side flow, all the different things. Um, you have uni boob so you get one big boob so then you get all the sweats and stuff in the middle and there's no separation air flow or anything so it's basically the equivalent of like putting a tube sock on your chest and tying it really hard like yes they're going to stay in place but one because of the inside eyelets hooks you get scabs because of those you get scabs because of the rubbing of the um scabs because of the rubbing of this band that is supposed to be able to be moved and when you try to place it back it's like so problematic to reattach it that you end up either putting it too high and then it's not as strong but if you put it too low it is strong but then it rubs your skin and damages it so basically this bra is a waste of time and it's not worth it if you're anything above probably a good b cup like the larger sizes it's just not a good look. It's a waste of money. It's going to mess up your skin. That's the thing that really made me upset. Like, it's one thing if it's just a sports bra that's not supportive and I just can't really wear it when I'm doing hardcore exercise. But the fact that I have all these scabs and marks and scratches all over is so disrespectful. Like, this bra is way too much money for me to have that many problems. So, um, I would definitely say don't be um don't believe the hype if you even if you look in the comment sections on their instagram you never hear anybody that's just like i'm a larger size chest and this bra works for me or gave me support everything is like this is great i love this bra everything is vague and generic and or it's people just tagging other people nobody's really saying that they are larger chest and use the product and the fact that the person that they have is the busty girl in the commercial is not even that busty it is kind of a sign that you just shouldn't even mess with this so she fit bra don't buy it don't waste your time and if you have any recommendations for sports bras that actually work please leave them in the comments below because i am always on the search and i would really love to hear your recommendations okay so thanks so much for watching and i will see you in the next video